Hello there, everybody. This is No Name Moon Seven Spore. After having a bit of a coughing fit before starting this live stream, I uh. Okay, I just said live stream and immediately face bomb. Uh, no. After starting this video, sorry, this is not a live stream. This is not live. I'm not live here. It's just a video. Well, do live streams as well. This is I mean, it, okay, it's an unedited video, hopefully, but it's it's a video, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah. Um, I was just kind of preparing to make try to make everything easier for the stream, and then that preparing led to a coughing fit, which is not very good. So we're back with our game as Great Britain, where we find out what happens, where every single one of your ships is effectively a uh, dreadnought, and the most most literal sense of the term, where they're only all big gun, as in you don't have any other guns other than your main weapons. <coughs> Last episode, we designed our first, or we designed and laid down our first dreadnoughts, HMS Dreadnought and HMS Hood. At the same time, we have uh, HMS Hogue, uh, the second of the King Alfred class, close to completion. We can probably immediately replace her with a dreadnought in building. And uh, two Royal Oak class armored cruisers, um, also close to done, which will probably be replaced with a run of battle cruisers. Same time, uh, we do have uh, Spartan and Retribution to, uh, to protect the cruisers currently close done, as well as uh, two s or two later CLs, uh, Cambrian and uh, or Cambrian and uh, Philomel, plus a set of four destroyers. <coughs> now, what I will probably do is I just want to check if I open the Dreadnought design. <coughs> I, yeah, I don't think there's any improvement we can make on it. Um, although, actually, hold on. I don't know why I have deck extended armor here. I, I probably should have deleted that. Um, anyway, that'll probably be deleted with the next class. Um, which will be whatever replaces King Alfred. Uh, Hogue. Um... Yeah, I can I can afford a little tension increase with the U.S. Um, let me actually start um, reserving some ships. So in this case, that would probably be all of uh, these destroyers, just so we save a little bit more money. And I think we actually have uh, King Alfred there, which will also save us a little bit more money. <coughs> all right, six-inch coastal batteries are done. Um. Russia. I can fight Russia. Okay. <clears throat> so I think what we do is we open the Dreadnought design, remove the deck extended armor, does classify it as a new ship. I could get another knot out of her. Um, or, you know, a little bit more armor. Although apparently our uh, protection is good, so maybe we'll go like an extra half inch up in deck. 2.5 inch deck or something. Yeah, you can only get centerline turrets right now. <coughs> yeah, I think that'll be good. I think it'll be our uh, Centurion class battleship. Um, French. Ooh, do I want to delay them or do I want money? I'm gonna delay them. Okay, so we're still building some stuff here. Um, I should probably put a little bit more of this money in. I think I was going to build more um, coastal defenses. So we got the six inches these places. So this is like if we wind up facing Japan. What I'm concerned about here with uh Weiwei and uh Laotung Peninsula. So we got six inches at Weiwei and then at the Laotung we got the six okay, if we did get the twelve inch at Weiwei. Um Okay, so all those are upgraded. Um can we improve the bases? I should probably be doing that in both cases. 
<coughs> Maybe a nice little one in Hong Kong, too. Um... Although it's possible we wind up fighting Italy, at which point, um, you know, I'd have to uh, upgrade the uh, Mediterranean bases. I am expanding. So what's Italy most likely to invade? Probably Malta. So I think I get a 6 inch down there. So I'm going to get like 2 6 inches and a uh, 12 inch coastal at Malta. <coughs> Try to just adequately defend Malta. Hoag is commissioned into the Navy. Um, you know what? Let, let's do... Let's build railroads. So, Hoag, go to the reserve fleet. We have a little bit of extra cash now. Um... I'm going to open the alarm design, see if we can get a little bit more out of them. Okay, so that would... We had 27 tons remaining. What happens if I go here and try to open... Yeah, it's not enough. We do have our CLs close to completion. And we have a lot of CLs, so I kind of want to put that all into a... Dreadnought building. I do think we need more uh, modern destroyers. Okay, so we could just probably lay down more alarm classes then. and Spartan. Yeah, refit for a Loke. Alright, build me Centurion. Build me a second Centurion class. Build me four more Alarm class destroyers. <coughs> Alright, so now we have four Dreadnoughts under construction. Um, but these guys are close enough that what I actually want to start doing is I actually want to start making battle cruisers. Um, so in this case, I'm going to open up Centurion, take her deck down to 2 inches, her turret top down to 2 inches, her belt will go down to 8 inches, I think, and uh, I'll give her battle cruiser lines, update the ship graphic, oh, don't reduce the speed. Okay, so we can get her to 25 knots on that. Let's see what 26 takes. We can do 26 knots. And I think we will. Um, although maybe I'll... Part of me wants to reduce that gun just a little bit. Uh, the, not the rounds per gun. You know, I'll keep it at 130. Yeah, okay. 26 knots, 157 weight. Eh, I'll do a little bit more weight remaining so that they're more upgradable since I, you know, can't do anything weird with the secondaries. <clears throat> I think that's acceptable. And, um, I think the only thing that's really missing is she should probably have, like, a third funnel back here. Um, although part of me does want to, like, redo the design a little bit. Um, part of me is also just a little lazy right now. So, yeah, I guess she'll just be a rework of the design with a uh, emphasis on speed and a little bit more tonnage. Yeah. Take the prestige. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start activating those ships. Um, <coughs> uh, 
I'm going to have some of the Pearl class active, and I'm going to start pulling stuff out of the Mothball fleet. So we're not going to have any Mothball ships right now, but I think, you know, right now we need active destroyers. So I will, or active ships just in general. So I will put all those guys to active. Um... You know, the Phoebes aren't going to be active yet. I think the Pearls will be. Any Pearls in the Reserve Fleet will... Actually, you were... I'll activate that one. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Royal Oak is close to done. So we will get another uh, CA here soon. I mean, it, if we're fighting Russia... um, I mean, really, we're going to fight them over here. Actually, I think, was it Russia who we fought last? Yeah, it was. So Russia's like one in round two. Okay, good. We got main battery wing turrets. The problem is, um, I just noticed that one of our designs commissioned with uh, less speed than intended. So Royal Oak is stuck at 22 knots. King Alfred is stuck at 22 knots. Um... Is that intentional? I open the design. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we just got a speed decrease on those, unfortunately. Um. Maybe I'll move the Renards back into the reserve fleet. Just try to save a little bit more money them back into reserve. Um, actually, I'll mothball, I'll keep the moth, those guys mothballed, I'll keep these guys mothballed. Um, keep these guys active for now. Or not active, you know, not mothballed. Ooh, screw it. Russia just took Mozambique. All right. Buy on Russia. Um, is that within our invasion range? It is not. We have medium spying on Russia. Um. Move these guys to the reserve fleet, actually. Just kind of get ready for war. You know, especially since we have here to operate out of. Um, might be good to build coastal fortifications at, like, Revel or something. Um, yeah, let's do that. Baltic states. Alright, you don't build these at cities, you just build them at various areas. So, I want like two 6-inch batteries. Honestly, probably two 12-inch batteries. And we're going to have so many destroyers coming online that I'm not super concerned. I'll just halt uh, Indomitable for a couple turns. Oh, interesting. Fine. I'll do that. I don't think we're going to go to war with the U.S. right now. No. Call I'm calling that one's bluff. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of money there. Um, I think that has just bought Indomitable a sister ship. Okay. Okay, the alarm class would not even improve much right now. So I just say build more. Um 
Build me four more of them. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's, uh, let's enter an agreement with Italy. I spying on Russia. Uh, doctrine. Start gunnery training. Uh, yeah, so I guess we are gonna push for a war with Russia. But I've also noticed that, um, the recording is about as long as I want to make these videos. Uh, however, you know, I'm gonna go one more turn. Do that. Um... Oh yeah, Japan is not happy that we uh, expanded the bases over here. Which I keep doing because I want these bases to be more expanded. And I will keep expanding them. So that, you know, if I need to adequately fight Japan, I can. Probably better to expand Singapore than Hong Kong because it's more out of their reach. But yeah, um, I'm going to wait one more turn. One more turn. And I'm going to design one more ship. Okay, uh... Yeah. That stuff rush. Oh, oh, oh shit, there is a spider in this room. Um, I think that's it for the episode. I will, uh... I will call it there. I'll be back next time to uh, build a uh, protected cruiser and probably go to war with Russia. Um, to about hit this length, it's uh, 17 minutes long. So yeah, um, I will. I will see you guys next time. Links to the Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are down below. Really, only the Discord is important of those. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. Uh. Bye, see you next time, whatever. I'm going to try to kill a spider now and probably fail. Bye.